Hi, my name is Genevieve and I am a remix writer for Pure Magazine. Today, we're gonna discuss how to find those perfect pair of jeans without having to put them on or try them on at the store. Come on. So once you've found your perfect pair of jeans that you'd like to purchase, the first thing you do is you grab your handy dandy measuring tape. I never go to a thrift store without it. I recommend that you measure yourself before you get to the thrift store or you can measure your favorite pair of jeans at home and already know what measurements you are that you're looking for. So first, I have my notebook. I've already written down my measurements from my favorite pair of jeans at home. And so first you're gonna measure the waist. Find a flat surface. If you go to the furniture section of your thrift store, you'll find a table area, or you can probably do it as it's on the hanger. So you lay it flat, but don't stretch it. You lay it flat. You put it up against it. You see that it's 16 and remember to double it up. You confirm that it matches the measurements that you're looking for. Perfect, this matches perfect. Your next measurement is gonna be your hip measurement. Now the hips are either gonna be right under the zipper, like so, and you're gonna measure it seam to seam. Or it's gonna be the widest section of the jeans that you're looking at. So from the edge of the seam to the other edge of the seam, you double check to see if it matches what you have at home. Again, this is a perfect match. Now, if it doesn't match perfectly, if there's a couple centimeters off or smaller, that's fine, especially if you're looking at some stretchy jeans, it'll fit. The next measurement you go back to your notebook is gonna be the front section. Now, the front section is gonna be the seam in the middle from here where the two seams meet, all the way to where your button is, or a little bit past your button, I could say, the end of the, the jean. You make a note of that. It's about, you can say 10 inches. You look, and perfect. Now, if you're looking for some high-waisted jeans, obviously they're gonna be a lot longer in the front. And also, when you look at the tag, it'll tell you if it's meant to be a high waist jean or where it's supposed to fall. But these are perfect. I love wide leg pants. Just my personal preference of jeans. Match it, it looks great. The next is gonna be the back. You flip it over, you lay it flat. Make sure you're using the same measurement for each. Again, you're gonna go where the middle seam meets up. From here, lay it flat. And just be careful that it doesn't mess up. Again, you look to see if it matches what you have back at home. It does. Perfect. Your next measurement is gonna be the length. You flip it forward. The length is gonna be from the very bottom of the jeans. Then up the seam, you wanna make sure you're following the seam where they meet. And you're gonna bring it all the way up. And you measure it. Now, another tip I have, if you don't have a long enough table and you're gonna be struggling, is I always bring a clip with me. So then you can clip the bottom of it. And then that way, you can leave it hanging and just make sure that it's not too loose. You can leave it hanging and bring it up that way. Perfect. And also make sure you're referencing if you wanna notate things down. That's why you bring your notebook and, pen and your notepad and your pen with you. Now, your next measurement is gonna be the end seam. Again, you're gonna look here. You can clip it like we did before. If your table's not long enough. And you're gonna follow in the inseam. All the way up. You're gonna look, match it again. This is perfect. These are a bit longer than the jeans that I have at home. But like I said, I prefer long wide leg jeans. So it's perfect and if, you can always roll them up if you want. If rolling them up is something that you like to do with your jeans, just make sure you're checking the bottom of the jean to make sure that it's in good condition and that it's flexible enough that it will hold. And that is my tip for you today. Thank you so much.